Hey, I'm Sage Gurdwe, the performance coach, and my mission is to help you achieve your mission. You are currently watch a free coaching video where I'm going to share with you three adjustments that you can make to improve your game from 2023 to 2024 and improve your momentum from 2023 to 2024. These are adjustments that I use myself and that I use in my strategies and methodologies of my clients that works over and over and over. This is all proven, it's all tried, it's all tested. All I'm doing is sharing it with you so that you can take 2024 and make it your greatest year ever. So let's get into it. First of all, to create momentum, you have to understand the concept of organic happiness. Now, point number one, the adjustment number one, is finding organic happiness. Organic happiness is not happiness that you receive from having material things in your life or uh, from having people affirming you or have, from having people supporting you. That happiness is caused and triggered by something outside of you. Organic happiness comes from inside. And how you do that is you simply use your thoughts, your words, and your actions. So the adjustment that I want you to make is I want you to align your words, your thoughts, and your actions. Whatever you think, whatever you say, and whatever you do have to be in the direction of moving towards your desired outcomes. Now, if you do that and you align that, you are going to create happiness out of nothingness. Okay, so when your thoughts, words, and actions align, you will generate happiness organically. And that is as simple as that. All right, let's move to number two. Number two, harness your divineness. So to harness divineness is not complicated. It's, it's a simple thing to do. It's going to take a bit of practice to make this adjustment happen in your life. But when you do, this one adjustment is going to change most of it. Okay, let me explain how to harness divineness. So divine energy, divine intelligence is all around us. It's in everything. It's present in absolutely everything on the planet, including us as humans. Now, for you to harness the divine energy, you have to be present in the moment. The more present in the moment you are, the more the divine intelligence will flow through you. And by having divine intelligence flow through you, you are now creating a scenario where you are attracting with the help of divine intelligence you're attracting what you need to get closer to your outcomes to your desired outcomes however the more present you are in the moment the stronger this intelligence will flow through you and as long as you can stay present that adjustment is going to help you to harness the vine better and more frequent in your life and it will help you to have that magical divine intervention okay and next the third one the third adjustment i want you to do is i want you to keep score okay so keeping score what does that mean it basically means you have to measure okay what you do and what you measure will improve. You have to track your results every day in order to measure them, to be able to improve on them. You have to keep score, okay? But it has to keep score. But now, the question would be, what do you keep score of? And this is the four things that I want to share with you on my last little slide here. Um, I'm just about at the end of the video. Before I get into that, guys, if you um, if you find any value from this and this helps you in any way, please do me a favor, just play it forward to some one or two other people that also be able to benefit from this. And um, if you've got any questions, please leave us a comment 
in the in the comments below i'm gonna get to those comments back more videos and what you guys are asking about give us a thumbs up if you like it your support helps us to spread the word and if you haven't subscribed then be sure to do so if you watch this whole video and you find value from that subscribe so you can get more of this stuff and you can share more of this stuff and together we can reach more people thank you so much for your support now to the last implementation steps so what's called to keep okay there's four things i want you to think about when you keep your score your first thing is your win rate and your win rate is a percentage so you if you win three out of six days you've won 50 percent okay if you win one out of five days you've won 20 percent of the time your win rate is 20 percent so you want to know what your win rate is that means you've got to measure and track every day what you do right you also the second thing that you want to keep score of is your alignment is your thoughts your words and your actions aligned with the designer are they aligned with going there if they're not then you need to figure out what is not aligned and then tomorrow when you wake up you don't make the same mistakes you made today so every night when you reflect on these things it gives you the opportunity the next day to now to go and execute in a different way a more efficient way okay the third one is your divineness you have to measure your divineness remember to your divineness comes to being present in the moment right so how present were you today how present were you yesterday every night before you go to bed, take some time, reflect on that, give yourself a score so that tomorrow you can improve on that score. Okay. The fourth and the last thing that I want to 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 take into 2024 is your gratitude. You have to measure how grateful you are. Gratitude is a superpower and it's a choice. You can under pressure choose to be grateful or to be ungrateful. If you're grateful, it means that you are going to be thinking about things and speaking about things and acting as if a lot of things is already going right for you. You're grateful for that. And by doing that, you're creating a vacuum where you can now go and manifest more on top of what you already have. But if you complain about it, if you moan and bitch and whine about it, you will never be able to have more on top of because you're not creating a vacuum for more to come you're creating a vacuum for more problems to show up to give you more for more reasons to complain about so gratitude is extremely extremely important because as one of my coaches explained to me we are never and you as a human are not going to rise to the occasion well maybe sometimes but almost never you are almost always going to fall to your highest level of preparation so if you are prepared you're going to fall to your highest level of preparation and then you are going to have pressure and that pressure in your life be a trigger for you to start getting into gratitude and the moment when you do that you will step into your power and you will take control of the scenario and that is it guys again if this video helped you please give me a favor and um share it with someone that could also help us and if you like it give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one